Hello YouTubers, uh, new little uh, experiment in a rocket stove, go ahead and pull it out so you can see. Uh, new experiment in a rocket stove, uh, what you're seeing here is, is I believe this is a 35 gallon drum. This drum is uh, 18 and a half inches by 29 inches and this is a smaller drum on top. It's uh, 15 and a half by uh, 27 and a half. Now there's an 8 inch piece of pipe inside this one that goes up right up to about this level and I just cut the hole in the side of the barrel there and dropped that 8 inch pipe through that and that's uh, what's called stove cement around that making that seal and I put these connectors on there just so that barrel would sit good and straight. What I've kind of discovered is, is if I choke this down to about the same amount of square inches as my flue is, it burns real good and doesn't backdraft, you know. Uh, it's basically like a wood stove without the door on it. But I would tell you that a rocket stove, the reason it burns so efficient is because the door is, there is no door, it's no choking it down, and the air is quickly rushing over it, and it's burning really fast, that's why it's so efficient. Now, one of the, one of the ways to measure how much uh, efficiency or how efficient a stove is, is how much you're losing up the pipe. So the whole thing is to try to get the temperature of the pipe down really to around 225 to 250. Anything more than that and it's wasted heat going out the roof uh, or going out the pipe. Anything less than that you're going to have creosote and you could have backdraft problems. You won't while the fire is up burning good but as the fire is going out and the riser doesn't stay hot it will backdraft. Now you see the clearances on this, this is pretty tight. Something I wanted to mention on this is uh, what are the clearances? Now clearances are, here's a rule of the thumb. If, you, if your house is 70 degrees, how hot can the wall be close to this barrel? You know, how hot can that wall get without being dangerous? Well, the answer to that is it's about 115 degrees above your room temperature. So if you've got a 70 degree, or, you know, 60 degree room temperature, add 115 degrees and go 175. So 100, this wood here could be up to 175 and still be considered safe. Now I was approaching that back here in the back on the back side of this drum so I just made this reflecting shield that's sitting in the floor just reflecting that heat back out of it. So it is operating like a large rocket stove. Now it, the burn chamber doesn't stay as hot as it would with the cob insulating it and holding the heat so it's, it's probably not as efficient but it burns really clean. I'll show you the smoke on it. and. Uh, we just lit it up and I'm burning scraps out of the shop in it and right now it's uh, it's 511 degrees on top right there right it's 511 on there and the top of this top of this barrel here is running 5 512 right so it's when we started off a few minutes ago it was just 64 degrees in here and I'm going to run us out of here it's going to be completely hot in here and that's it's 96 degrees in the ceiling here now. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, let's step outside, let's look at the smoke, and let's see how much of the heat that we're losing. Let's see how much heat we're losing. You should just shoot a shot at the stack there. You can see, right, it's, it's dusk, right? So this is, I don't know if you see, but there's, there's virtually no smoke there. There's no smoke there at all. Now, we're gonna shoot the temperature of the stack. So normally if you're in a fireplace or if you're in a wood stove, this, uh, this, this riser here is you're losing a lot of heat out of it. You know, it's not, it wouldn't be uncommon uh, on your chimney top to be five, six hundred degrees. So what, ideally, again, what you're trying to do is get these stacks down to where all that heat's coming inside the house and only, only the minimum amount of heat comes out the riser in order to keep the draft going. If you cut that too close, your draft won't happen, right? But let's just see where we're at right here. So here, you see we're, we're at 320, right? So 320 is, uh, is relatively, you know, is high uh, than we were really would like it to be. But compared to uh, uh, just a regular uh, wood stove, that temperature is, is quite a bit less because it would be it can be six, seven hundred, and even under 800 degrees at the top chimney right there. So you can see that most of the heat staying inside of the house and uh, it is burning uh, pretty clean there. No smoke at all. Yeah. 
So I don't, you know, so I call this the double barrel rocket stove. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense. But, uh, yeah, let's go back in and take a look one more time. It is hot, puts off a lot of heat, puts off a lot of heat fast. Uh, I've learned to only start a small fire in it. Uh, just to check my temperatures here. My wall here is just 105 degrees here, so I'm well within my range of causing right. myself any. However, my metal plate here behind is 218, which would be trouble, but the wall behind the metal plate is only 88, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So the metal plate's doing its job reflecting the heat away from that, uh, away from that wall. So that is the... Uh, Double barrel rocket stove, and it's the, the 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 burn chamber is larger, and it does put off quite a bit more heat. That's a pretty good job. All right, thanks for watching.